Let's just put this here. I'll turn all of these MK4s into MK5s. Oh, we only have two things making computers. So, never mind. Let's go back up to the fifth floor. Now, we need to put this thing back on. Because I do need this vantage point. I'm going to put the wall here. Okay, so we got computers here. Put back the Blade Runners. Okay, so we need to get this stuff over here. That stuff over there. Bring it over here. You know what, let's put this... Can we do this? Yes. Or you know what, let's... Let's try doing this. Then we can bring this over here. And we can't afford it because we need sheets. Alright, let's get some more sheets. And here is our aluminum sheets. This is, oh, heavy modular frames. How many do I have right now? Okay, so I got a full stack plus 12. Should have more than enough to continue building. I'm going to loop this around. And that works. It's taking up a lot more space than what I wanted, but this works. Alright, so we got the computers, we got lumen casings, and this needs to go away. Um, let's continue this way. Now at this point we can add the crystal oscillators. This way. One, two. And there we go. So we got the three resources for uh, the radio control units.
Probably should do the same thing here. I'm gonna line this up. I can't see the line here. Hard to see if it's lined up. What the hell? Okay, there we go. I just want to give a little bit of space over here. Except, there's not going to be much space over here if I do that. Two, three. Okay, so there's enough space for three of these. And then radio control units. We're making two per minute. 2.5 per minute. And it takes 1.25 per minute. The crystal oscillators, I mean. So we have more than enough fueling this, it looks like. Alright, we'll do the same thing over here. Jeez, that's not lined up. Okay, put you here. Two, three. And we need iron plates, damn it. Iron plates. I don't feel like going all the way back there. Yeah, so I can avoid taking damage just by slowing down. Okay, um... You know can I get iron plates from here? Like, you have way too much anyway. All right, so we got three. Three full stacks here. How are we on iron rods? Okay, so I'm down to my last stack of iron rods. Can I like take some from you? Yes, I can. So let's do that. Let's go up here. And then we'll continue building this out. and three one two there we go. And then we'll put our splitter right here. Split three ways. Now we just need to power this up and turn on the recipes here. And we can get the power from over here. But I guess I'll put a power line here just in case we need to. All right. 
right. Start up the radio control units. There we go. We are now using aluminum casings. Got the crystal oscillators in here and we're using computers. So the radio control units are used for other stuff, not just for this milestone, obviously. Okay, so what is it used for though? Where's our project assembly stuff? Or do we need to research it first? With, or do we need to unlock it with the milestone? Either way, need 50 of them. I guess what we can do put a merger going in this direction. Put it into storage for now. We only need a small storage for this. We're not really producing that many. And then we'll put a splitter like right here. There we go. We have eight of these now. So while that's building up, we need to start focusing on increasing our production rate of reinforced iron plates and I guess iron rods. Oh yeah, I forgot to uh got to slow down there. Now the big one is reinforced iron plates. Doesn't seem like we're getting enough screws here. So I think at this point in time Yeah, this is plenty, so what I'm going to do is let's get rid of these iron plates here. We'll stop the production first. Or, I guess, not stop it, but... This needs to stop being connected to this. Now, I do need to connect this to, like, iron rods somewhere is it like over here because the iron rods have to come from somewhere so we need to bring that iron pro a rod production from there to maybe like over here yeah this is where the iron rods are coming from so we need to somehow merge it over here Oh, and another thing, I should probably check on the rotors. Like, that's producing a lot of screws and iron rods as well. Let's see if we can, like, take advantage of this somehow. And rotors are not being used. In fact, it's completely blocked off. Maybe I can utilize some of the resources over here. Somewhere. So this is one, two, and three. Well, let's deal with these screws first. Because it looks to me like we should be bringing them back over here. Okay, so here's a splitter. Or, let's do merger. It needs to go this way. What were you lining up with? What the hell? Okay, let's try this again.
Okay, we're putting the merger over here. And then we're gonna try to take advantage of the screw production over here since it's not being used for rotors. Try to bring this down. Oh, seriously? Oh, geez. So we can't exactly put a splitter there. And I have something above there, don't I? Oh, geez. So let's replace it with foundation here. an 8x2. Okay, splitter. We have to do this too. Put an 8x2 foundation over here as well. Probably, sh probably would help if I lit this up. And we'll put this on the ground floor. Now let's do this. Put a merger this way. And then splitter over here. Okay, so one, two, three, four. And that works. And why are you not working? And I got this backwards, damn you. Okay, merger goes this way, in this direction. Okay, I'm gonna have to set this up again. One, two, three, four. There we go. And then we'll put another uh, merger over here. Another splitter, but over here. Okay, one, two. Oh, this is a merger. I needed a splitter. One, two. Okay, so we're gonna bring the screws all the way over here. Which means we're gonna need to be a little bit sneaky about this. Sneaky little snake. And then we'll insert it in there. And there we go. Screws feeding into this area from our rotor production, which is not really using it. Now, if we need to get more rotors, uh, this might actually be a problem. Oh shit. I just realized probably should have did a smart splitter. Or you know what? Let's just leave it. This is good enough. So now this is being supplied with screws. Plenty of screws. And this is getting back to work.
So I think this is as good as it's gonna get. And this will eventually fill up and get backed up again. And you know what? On that note, why don't we do this? Emerge it going this way. Because we're going to need those screws as well. And then we'll put a merger here. Or not a merger, a splitter. Okay, you feed in this direction. Feed into here, feed into here. There we go. So now we're producing a lot of screws. We're using our existing screw production to feed everything else that needs to be fed. And hopefully this works out. This would really suck if it didn't. Alright, so anyway, that takes care of that. Oh, I also need to do something about the iron rods over here. So this is no longer producing iron plates. We need to figure out how to get the rods over there. Somehow. You know what, in the meantime, let's just continue feeding iron plates in here. Like, let's just keep that for now. Until I can figure out how to get the iron rods over there. Like, there's a lot of iron rods over here. And I think one of the new features in this game is, like, drones that can... Basically, logistics drones, similar to that in uh, Factorio. So, probably should work on that tech. Or is it a research or is it a milestone? I don't know. Power switch, supercomputers. Like, it's probably over here. So, I do need to get supercomputers. And for that, I need high-speed connectors. So, I need to work on that. Alright, so let's go back to the fifth floor. Let's see if we have enough radio control units now. Okay, we got... Yes, we do. Got an entire stack of this. And I am going to fly down. Instead of taking the hyper dubs, let's do this. Go directly to the hub. And just lower myself gently. Nice. Okay, we need we need more aluminum casings and we need more motors. Okay, aluminum casings are on the fourth floor, and then the motors are on the third floor. Let's just go ahead and grab those. You know, we don't really need quartz crystals, and we don't need these ingots either. What else don't we need? Screws, definitely screws. Okay, so I have 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, 300. Okay, so I have enough motors now. I'll get back my 65 and then we'll work on lumen casings. Oh, 
I'll just skip the hyper tubes and go straight to this floor over here. And we actually didn't have a container for it. Maybe I should get on that. Or wait, didn't I have like some production over here? Yeah, aluminum containers. Okay, so we can get it from storage there, so I don't need to put a storage over there. You know what? I can actually access you. There we go. Milestone. Milestone reached. Aerial transport of resources is now possible with the use of drones, ideal for shipping across long distances or difficult terrain. Wait a minute. Ensure the presence of batteries at drone ports for optimal results. Yeah, this is a the drones I'm talking about. Enables progress to the next phase. Okay, we're gonna have to make supercomputers now. Or radio control units. We can actually get this. So then what was that Caterium research? Like what's down here? Uh, I have no idea. So anyway, what I was going to do, let's fly up here, bomb these guys. Death from above. Get this green slug. I've been meaning to get this for a while. Now, what else is here? You know, this might be a good opportunity to get some of those berries. I do need my Blade Runners back. Uh, probably shouldn't jump down there. What am I stupid? No, maybe. Okay, let's get these berries. There's a lot of berries here. But weren't there berries over here? Oh yes, there is. Yeah, that'll replace these nuts with berries, and I'll throw away these flower petals. Oh, there's a lot of berries here. Alright, let's head back to base. Where's base? I'm pretty sure I saw berries around here. What the hell? Okay, so... Go back to base. Hey, hey, what's going on here? You know what? Let's get a gas mask or... Yeah, hazmat suit. What? Wearing a hazmat suit, damn it. So, I guess... Despite having a hazmat suit... I'm still breathing in gas. Which is weird. Yeah, that's something I don't get. Like, why is the hazmat suit not working in a gas environment? Like, you still need to filter out the gas. It's still in a close, like, suit. You can't breathe it in. How the hell are you breathing it in? Okay, well, anyway, let's put these berries here. And let's start working on drones. Like, how do we do this? Okay, drone port and drones. So drone ports have one other port assigned as their transport destination. Each drone port contains a single drone which transports available input back and forth between its home and destination ports. The drone port interface provides delivery details and allows management of port connections. 